the burglar music is very sneaky sounding music that used to be very famous for its use in old black and white silent films. I like teaching the burglar music because we can play almost the entire piece at the tip of the bow uh, with a couple of uh, very strong uh, threatening surprises. Let's talk about fourth finger extensions. Usually the distance between our first finger and our fourth finger is a perfect fourth. We usually play with a perfect fourth frame. So that interval, uh, a perfect fourth, is the same as here comes the brine. Now, any distance bigger than that is considered an extension. So, for instance, um, an augmented fourth, or a diminished fifth, sounds like and sometimes we'll even have to do a bigger extension uh, to a perfect So let's get used to some fourth finger extensions. On the G string, I'll place my A, B, C, and D. And what I want to do is I want to practice extending the fourth finger, changing the shape of that finger. It usually is going to end up a little bit straighter. So. practice that with rhythms. You may also find that uh, pushing out your elbow a little bit away from your body will give you a little bit more distance on those fourth finger extensions. As much as possible, I would still try to avoid pushing out the wrist. Um, that's going to actually give you less of a reach for your extension, uh, and it's a great way to hurt yourself playing the violin. Take a quick look at measures three and four. Now, the next note, a C sharp, is in an interesting location. third finger down, cross your fourth finger over and close to your third finger to find that C sharp. We should be able to find a double stop with C sharp fourth finger and G natural third finger. And we could also test G natural third finger and first finger B flat. I would recommend practicing the final chord of the piece in this way. Let's get really used to playing the bottom two notes, the open G and D, starting from the frog with a heavy slow bow. Great. And let's test our intonation on our B flat and G, the top two notes. practice playing those top two notes starting from about the middle of the bow. Finally, let's practice breaking that chord so we hear the bottom two notes and then the top two notes.